everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I do have a grocery haul for you guys. We went to Winco and we also did grocery outlet. So everything that I that you see cost me around $220. And this will last us for about two weeks. So if I can remember the prices, I'll tell you guys what um what I paid for each each thing and uh Let's jump right into this video. Okay everybody, this is an overview of everything that I did pick up today. And so this will last us about two weeks, which I think is pretty good, a lot of food here. So the first thing that we did pick up, we eat a lot of chicken. So we have the boneless, skinless chicken. We paid, let's say, uh, $10.49 for this. And I have dogs in the background if you guys are hearing them. And then another thing of chicken, this one also I think was, yeah, $10.51, which I think is great. We did get this at Grocery Outlet. This is the ground beef, 70% lean, 27% fat. This is a five pound, and I got this for $11.99. And then I wanna do some beef and broccoli this, this time, this, this week, and so, we did go ahead and get the um, pre-sliced carne asada, and I paid, how much did I pay for that? $12.95. So this is our meat for the two weeks. I do have some more meat in the freezer, so if I need to pull that, I will, but this is all the meat that I, kind of all the, the I guess, fresh meat that I did buy. And then I did buy the beef and broccoli packet because we are going to do beef and broccoli. These, I love, these are for my snacks. I This is what I typically eat for lunch. I'll take two of these and like a cheese stick. So this is the original smoke sausage sticks and I paid, I think it was $11 for this big, so one pound, which I think is not too bad. So I grabbed that. And then also, this was at Winco, and this was $7, and this is the jalapeno. So this is a 15 ounce bag, and I thought that was great. So these are, like I said, I, I eat these for snacks. And then we're going to be making chicken green enchilada soup. So I needed some green salsa, this was $2, and these were about 70 cents a piece and they're just little cans of the diced green chilies. The like kind of diced tomatoes, these were 98 cents. And then going along with the veggies, I for the soup, I'm gonna make some beef stew and then also like the chicken soup and chicken enchilada soup. Lots of soups this, this two weeks. So I grabbed the Celery. How much did I pay for this? I think this was like 50 cents. It wasn't very expensive at all. And then I did grab two green bell peppers in here. These were about 40 cents a piece. And then the, I think these are the, um, these little peppers. These were really inexpensive as well. I did grab several of these because what I like to do, everyone in my house eats tort like they'll have tortillas and I'm going strictly kind of meat and meat and just vegetables for myself and so what I like to do is stuff these like if they're having my kids are having burritos or anything like that I'll use this as like my tortilla so I use this as a tortilla and I put so much goodies in here and oh my gosh it's so good so I grabbed me a whole bunch of those and then we love these apples. They're like the Granny Smith apples, and I think these were like $3 for this big bag, which I think is excellent. Then we got some bananas. My kids are obsessed with bananas, so we got two of um, these bananas, and I think they were like, I wanna say 49 cents for each one of them, so I think that's pretty good. We're gonna do some hamburgers, so I did grab three big tomatoes, as well as for the beef and broccoli, I have, this is so good, this is $3, this is at the grocery outlet, I think it's like $3.99 or $2.99, really inexpensive, and with stuff, the broccoli is so good. 
And then I love this. This is two dollars and like fifty cents, and it's just the living lettuce. This is the lettuce that I use. It is so good, especially if you don't do any, if you're low on carbs and you like you're doing low carb and you don't want to, you know, do bread. I love wrapping this in my hamburger because it just tastes so good, and the lettuce is just perfect. And then we have a whole bunch of lemons. I did two of these lemons. These were, I think, around two bucks. I like to do homemade like lemon drops, like sugar-free, kind of low-carb lemon drops. And then I also like to have these in my water. So I grabbed two of those. And then for the soups, we needed two things of Monterey Jack cheese. These were like $1.98. And then my husband loves his yogurt and fruit, so he needed more yogurt. I think this was like $1.99 at Grocery Outlet. And then for our hamburgers, we have some Swiss cheese, which is my favorite. This is $1.99. And then the mild cheddar cheese, which also is $1.99. And then kind of going with our frozen, you guys, Grocery Outlet, if you have not tried the Pacific Seafood, the shrimp, oh, this stuff is so good. So it's honey jalapeno, and they also have another one. It's okay, the honey jalapeno is my favorite. It is a little spicy, but it's really, I mean, 100 calories, five servings. It's only got four carbs, and there's no sugar, 19 grams, or how many grams? Yeah, 19 grams of protein. So this was like around three bucks. Highly recommend this if you like sh like spicy shrimp. This is so good. And then at Winco, we're gonna do a lot of hamburgers. So we got 20 patties, and I think this was like 14 bucks. And then at the grocery outlet, you guys, if you're looking for really good chicken strips, my kids, every honestly, everybody loves these. They're the chicken breast strips. And these are three, I think it was $3.99. We put these in the air fryer with the french fries and my kids eat these up. My husband loves them. They're so good. They're just enough crispy but lots of chicken inside. So we love, love, love this brand. You can get this at the grocery outlet. And then to go along with that, we have a big old thing of fries, five pounds for, I think this was like $2.99 for fries. And then I like to have these for like my breakfast or lunches. And these are just the ballpark, they're beef patties, but they're fully cooked. So I can just microwave them and we're good to go. And then if you're looking for some great almond butter, my so we have peanut allergy in the house and uh, egg allergy, but the creamy almond butter this is like my husband's favorite it's at the grocery outlet and i think it's like around five dollars which is real or maybe it was 3.99 it's really inexpensive at the grocery outlet and yeah my husband is obsessed with almond butter because he can't have peanut butter so we got three of those and then for his like treat sometimes at night we do the 85% cocoa um, dark chocolate. These are $1.99 and so that's his kind of like little treat. This is such a good deal. So these were two for a dollar so I decided to pick a four. My son loves this El Paso taco sauce and the mild. We do a lot of burritos and quesadillas in our family and uh, my son's obsessed with this, so I picked up four, and then I, this was also at the grocery outlet. This is the classic barbecue sauce, but it's unsweetened, so I can have it. It has how many carbs? It only has three carbs, so and this was $1.99 as well, so I was like, oh my gosh, heck yes, and then for the kids, they every night they're allowed one little treat, and so they can have one cookie. These were... 99 no these were two for a dollar at my grocery outlet so either two for a dollar or 97 cents something like that but this is such a good price so I just grabbed two sorry for my dog she's in the back playing and then also heavy whipping cream I love the heavy whipping cream I use this for soups and also in my coffee and then we needed some trash bags so these were like three bucks um you just get five of them. So we got that. 
And then the teens in my house wanted some Sprite, so they worked hard to get their Sprite this, uh, this week. And so this was $4 at Walmart, so I just decided, just I just picked it up. And then coming over here, okay, I have never seen this. I did grab two, so I hopefully I like these, but these were $16.99. And I loved Mike's Hard Lemonade. They're so good, but they're so sugary. And I'm obsessed with anything sparkling, like water, but the hard sparkling water. I love, I mean, I love. Truly is my favorite, but I have never tried this. So I'm so excited when I saw it. I kind of did a little happy dance. I was like, oh my gosh, because that only has one carb. I think 100 calories. I mean, this is great. So we have the hard, hard lemonade. Um... You've got mango, lemon, strawberry, and pineapple. I cannot wait to try this. So, uh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I grabbed that. And then the fruit snacks, this is another thing. This is like their treat at the end of the night. So this is considered a dessert. You can either pick a cookie or you can have one fruit snack. And I just picked up some more because these were two for a dollar so I just grabbed four stock up on those my daughter has one every not every single night but she'll have it for like her dessert and that's perfect because it's just I mean it's not it's these are not that great for you but they're a hundred calories and uh, she just has one and then it tides her over and she's happy with that and then also at the grocery outlet I thought this was kind of good for the kiddos so these are the uh, cheesy double decker tacos the dinner kit 99 cents I thought that was excellent so the kids can have that one night and then of course macaroni and cheese is a big staple so I just got the three cheese macaroni this time I think I got yeah two of those and then my daughter is obsessed with unicorns and so she loves the unicorn mac and cheese so we picked up that and this is my favorite toilet paper it is the lavender scent now not a lot of people like scented toilet paper but I love it and this is four dollars so four bucks for the toilet paper we did need some paper towels I really like this brand and this was I think four bucks as well so stocked up on there and then if, I mean okay I had to get some more um, 19 crimes we have two wine refrigerators and so every time I go to the grocery store I just pick up one or two and then I'm just stocked so we um, if you have not tried 19 crimes it is so good. So I just picked up these two. Every, I have not, not liked a 19 Crimes wine. Like it doesn't matter. They're all good. So I just picked up those. And then my husband needed some more coffee. So we did get the Columbia. These are $3 at our grocery outlet. So we got the Columbia. And then this is my favorite the dark royal roast this is also three dollars and then the kids really wanted ice cream so I was like that's fine I'll get them the just the plain vanilla ice cream and this was I think four dollars or three ninety nine somewhere like that it this wasn't that expensive so that is everything oh no that's not everything I uh, grabbed some eggs I can't have eggs. I'm allergic, but my husband loves eggs. My He'll make like egg sandwiches for the kids and stuff like that, and he'll prep. So these eggs, I think, were $4 for five dozen. And so that is everything. I forgot the eggs. So, yep, that is everything. Like I said, that will last us about two weeks worth of groceries. Thank you guys so much for watching these grocery hauls. If you guys want me to do more, let me know and I'll do that. Maybe do some more meal plans and um, more food related videos. I can do that for you guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.